And this is what I do every, most every night. I sit and listen to the radio. I don't watch much TV. I look outside until it's dark and then I go to sleep. Hello, <laughs> my name's Greg Webster. Uh, it's a 1980 International School Bus. Um, I took two years to put build it um, when I retired, a couple hours a day. And I've been on the road probably almost four months this year. You're not a full time? No, no, I've got a, I've got a house on the California coast. So I'm, right now I'm looking for, I retired and I'm looking for somewhere else to live. And I'm going all over the United States looking for somewhere, so. You are a part-timer, but you have big rig. Yeah. It's like a full-timer. Yeah, oh yeah, no, it's got everything. Um, I, I, you saw I just bought a new microwave. My microwave came loose and hit the floor. And mm -hmm. So I put a new microwave in tonight. And mm -hmm. uh, and I'm spending the night. Uh, I, was, I was here in Port Angeles about 15 years ago, and it was a small town. Now it's five times bigger, you know, because I thought I might like to move up here, and too many people. Uh, I lived in California all my life. I huh? um, was born in Cal Southern California, raised in Northern California. Uh, I was in Redding. I moved to Eureka, California for work in uh, 89, and I retired about four years ago. I was a building inspector and mm -hmm. plan checker. I reviewed construction plans most of the time, so pretty good retirement. Let's me do whatever I want with, within reason. You know, I, at my my house I have rented, and I also have a shop and an apartment I have rented. So I've got all that plus mm. my retirement. And so I'm I'm I can fart around pretty good. Yeah, it's a 1980 International. It was a school bus, and then it carried fire troops for forest fires, and then it was out became outdated, and then I bought it, and then I worked on it for a couple of years, and. Um, I started. I started out in January of this year. It was my first trip. They have a thing in Arizona called Schooly Palooza, mm -hmm. and it's all the people that are. It's people that built school buses. I passed there. I saw that many schooly. Yeah, schoolies. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, there was almost 200 buses there this year. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. There's almost 200 buses. Mm. So they spend 10 days out there in the desert. So, but it's in January, Jan I think. Yeah. January 5th. RTR, during the RTR. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So you, you enjoyed that yeah, out did, there? Did you go to the RCR? Uh huh, yeah. That was huge. I didn't, I yeah. didn't even go in, but that huge, that tent in the middle? Yeah, big my tent. My God, that was huge. Yeah, it was first time oh. too. Yeah, I yeah, know. We were. Um, we were out in the middle of nowhere compared mm. to where you were. Mm. You were almost in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so you made a lot of friends there. So. Same rigs. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Get, you get people's emails and you and you uh -huh. email back and forth and talk. And uh -huh. it's got 900 watts of solar. Uh, it's got propane. I'm completely self-sufficient. I carry 100 gallons of water. Mm -hmm. um, if I can serve my water, I can almost go a month. So I can do pretty good. Okay. So you're traveling by yourself? Yeah, okay. I'm single. I ride alone. Okay. <laughs> Good. Okay. Could you show us around your rig yeah, first? Okay. It's 35 foot long, and in California, you have to paint these buses before you can register them. They won't let you use them yellow. So I painted it, and I just I hate to paint, so I used a brush, I used a spray can, I used a roller. <laughs> mm -hmm. So oh. I, I've got. These are LED floodlights. They light, they light up all the way around the bus. So if, if you're out in the middle of the night and so you hear some noise or something, you can turn those on. This was original storage in here. This is my generator. And as you can see, I had an accident. You had, had an accident? At a gas pump and tore it all up. I turned too sharp pulling out and I hit the barrier at the end of the pumps. These are stickers where I've been. I see I haven't done that much this year, so... Wasn't there yeah, windows? I covered all those up. I took all the windows out and then had the sheet metal cut and I put it up there and riveted it on. Okay. You'll see that on the inside. And then it's just... More stickers. The back door opens. And I've got my bicycles right there. It looks like crazy. Your garage. Yeah. yeah. That's mine. 
So you bought new one? My, yeah, this is my new one. You just bought at Walmart? Yeah, well, it's $40, $39.99. Okay. Need that. You have enough power to run that microwave? Yes, I do. Well, this one's a smaller one than the one I just broke, mm -hmm. so it should run without turning the generator on. The other one would run 45 seconds a minute and then you'd have to turn it off or it would pop the breaker because it's a 900 watt system and it was a 900 watt mm -hmm. microwave so <laughs> these are also tool toolboxes and storage uh, i put all these in myself my water yeah more storage i oil and stuff and try to carry most of the stuff i need these here you pull these it's got air brakes you pull these I'll pull this one, maybe some air. Yeah, what it does is it blows the moisture out of the air system. Mm -hmm. So, these are batteries. Yeah. Here. How many batteries? How many watts? Two, and it's 24. Okay. I'll show you the engine if you want. Thank you. DT 466 International engine. They've been making this engine for 50 years. Different ver versions of the same engine. By the way, sir, how much did you pay for the? 3500. 3500. Mm -hmm. Engine was just rebuilt 30,000 miles before I bought it. Runs real good. So, no issue when you're driving? Other than it's just old and. Okay. Shimmies and jumps around. So, you never fixed it after you bought it? No, but. <laughs> Now that you mention it, I'm, I've got a noise right now mm -hmm. coming and I think it's from that device right there. And I'm going to have to have a mechanic look at it. I'm afraid to try okay. to get home on it. Very it just started two days ago. Okay. So. No, it would be. <laughs> it just goes right in there like a lever, just like that. Okay. Yeah, come on in. If you want. Thank you. Oh, wow, it's so open. <laughs> yeah, I wanted it open. I don't want to feel like I'm in a box. In fact, I hardly ever close these curtains because I like to look outside. Yeah. But this is all cedar. Yeah. It's... This is redwood here, all redwood. It's redwood around the windows. Mm -hmm. Redwood uh, bathroom here. It's very thick. The bathroom, wow, it's so open. Yeah, I take the curtain off because when uh -huh. I open the door going down the road, it uh -huh. flaps all over, so. I take the curtain off when I'm running down the road. And Is it composting toilet? Yeah. yeah. Good, very nice. I try to keep everything simple. I don't like odor, so I don't like holding. Ooh. So I've just got a bucket under the sink. And, and sit my kitchen sink. So that, cutting board, coffee pot. Yeah. I love onions, so I built an onion box. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I yeah. love onions. Good. <laughs> My fridge is it's a solar DC fridge, so it runs on DC power. <laughs> and it's just some food. Mm -hmm. My food pantry here. Yeah. And it's all messed up because it's going down it's the road. Like I have some broken glass, that's why that's down the floor. Anyway, this is my these are my clothes, vitamins and yeah. what have you. Yeah. Storage my bed your bed and then under the bed are the water tanks and there's a hundred gallons of water under there yeah and then here's my solar system and my batteries so, you know, you, when, so it's just solar power system it's the first time i'd ever done one but hmm. i just got a schematic and and started this doing one. It. may i open sure there's nothing to look at really, but just breakers. That's the AC uh, panel. Or breakers. Mm -hmm. this, the bus is wired just like a house. Yeah. Because so, that's what I know being a building inspector. So you installed all by yourself? Yeah, I did everything. Wow. I'd never done it before, but I'd, I'd seen a lot of it. So Behind you are my DVDs. My, a lot. my DVD rack and then I can say my bicycles. I used to cycle a lot and then I stopped to build this because I 
didn't have the energy to do that and this I haven't got back on them yet so and as you can see it it's broke from the wall from all the bouncing and mm. jarring around with all my shoes and my bike shoes and yeah I got all the stuff my water heater yeah you, know, you can tell it so this from about going down the road the batteries yeah. come out water heater. yeah mm -hmm. and then uh, it's running And this is my furnace right here. This was going in the garbage oh. and I got it during construction and it's worn out. The bearings are out of it. I mean, you see it, it just, I need to get a new one, but. <laughs> ah. Oh, it's my favorite spot. Yeah. About a 270 degree view. I can really? look anywhere I want. I can sit here and I can recline to look outside. And this is what I do every, most every night. I sit and listen to the radio. I don't watch much TV. Look outside until it's dark and then I go to sleep. A lot of work. <laughs> much more work than I thought it was going to be. Like I said, I did everything by myself. So it had to be cut, fitted, and then sanded, and then varnished. Actually, it just has uh, oil on it, linseed oil on it. Fans yeah. circulate. This will run, run, if I've got the heater on, it'll run air, uh -huh. hot air to the back. This one runs off of the DC of the bus and it'll cool me off. Or I can pull it around and it'll defrost the windshield. So, and it's an air ride seat, so it's pretty comfortable. It's, no, manual it's automatic. Automatic? Mm hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. I would have preferred a manual. You preferred manual? Yeah, I would have. Why? I like driving them better. There are a lot of different kind of and size the school bus, but well, why, why did you choose this kind of long one? Well, I, I got the idea, and then I started looking, and in the first week, this one was about five miles from my house, and I went and looked at it, and the engine had been rebuilt, and I got 15 years of maintenance records, and uh, I just thought it's a good deal, and if I'm going to do it, do it, and so I bought it. I saw this on YouTube, yeah, somebody building one of these, and I thought. You know, I could do that, and I could build a place for my bicycles and build it the way I wanted it, you know, mm -hmm. and affordably. I've got about 22000 in the whole thing. So you like it? No <laughs> regret? Yeah. Well, the front end needs to be rebuilt. I mean, mm -hmm. it gets a little scary going down the road on a rough road. It gets a little scary. Mm -hmm. um, but it's all things that can be fixed. Yeah. You've done really amazing yeah, job. Okay. Thank you so much, sir. You bet. Yeah. Thank you.